introduce. Hello everyone, my name is Suji Akiyama. I will talk about race methods for athletes. In professional sports scene, not only training methods, but also race methods are emphasized. There are two types of rest methods. Active rest boosts blood circulation by exercise and recovers from fatigue, while passive rest recovers from fatigue without exercise. In recent years, a lot of research has been done about active rest. For instance, Denison et al. 2022 found out duration of the performance enhancing effects of active rest. Now, Recovery from fatigue no longer simply means not exercising. The objective of this research is to clarify how to use active rest and passive rest to recover from fatigue most efficiently. By using two types of rest methods, depending on the situation, you will be able to practice with high quality and create good conditions for important matches. This is today's outline. First, introduction. Second, features of active rest and passive rest. Third, survey results of student athletes. Fourth, efficient rest methods in the on season and off season. Finally, conclusion. Active rest and passive rest each has their pros and cons, but active rest is more efficient. Features of active rest is that, according to Hiro 2016, it boosts decreasing of blood lactic acid. Therefore, it boosts fatigue recovery. In addition, according to Nakatsuka and Sakai 2010, it recovered psychological and physiological fatigue. However, according to Izumi 2007, if you exercise too much, uh, train, recovering effects will decrease. Moreover, uh, active, rest has, active rest has a risk of sports injuries. <laughs> Features of passive rest is that it recovers physical and especially psychological fatigue. According to Tomiyama 2012, the less time you sleep, the less you feel like doing anything. Moreover, active rest decreases the risk of sports injuries. Cons is that it needs more time to recover from fatigue than active rest. Both rest methods recover physical and psychological fatigue. From the point of view of a more efficient rest method, low intensity active rest is the best. Next, I tell 34 student athletes about, about how to rest on days. Regarding rest days in a week, over half of people were two days following one day. Regarding, regarding rest methods, only active rest was 70%, only passive rest was 54%, both were 29%. A lot of active rest methods were running and stretching. Most of passive rest methods were sleeping. Next, I surveyed them in four stages for the sense of fatigue after taking each rest. Regarding active rest, people of 75% felt their body right. Uh, regarding passive rest, people of 97% Felt their body right. Logically, active rest is more efficient. However, the survey results show that passive rest is more efficient for student athletes. When taking active rest, it is important to set it lower intensity. <clears throat> Next, it is better to take more passive rest in the on season, and conversely, it is better to take more passive active rest in the off-season. According to Matsumoto 2022, uh, in the on-season, there are many competitions. So it is necessary to recover physical fatigue and reduce psychological stress. According to Amemiya 2019, uh, athletes with less psychological stress have higher competitive abilities, such as concentration, judgment, and guessing ability. Therefore, in the on-season, you should prioritize, prioritize passive rest to improve performance for competitions. In contrast, in the off-season, there are no competitions, so uh, there is less psychological stress. Uh, however, the amount of practice with increase due to training camps and multiple training sessions in a day. 
Therefore, you should prioritize active rest to balance a lot of practice and short time rest. Finally, let me summarize the points of this research. The objective of this research was to clarify how to use active rest and passive rest to recover from fatigue most efficiently. From the research, I found that low intensity active rest is the most efficient and dividing by the seasons, it is better to take more, more passive rest in the own season and active rest in the off season. I conclude that the most efficient rest method is low intensity active rest. And the priority of the two types of rest methods are changes depending on the seasons. This is the references. Thanks for listening.